Good day, Dan Minigan from Mushroom Cloud Gaming bringing you another discussion video. Today's video shall be about how we can improve the interaction between the Elite class and Standard Infantry. Before we get started, I might as well get my opinion out of the way. I consider the Elite classes to be a worthwhile addition to the game. Why you may ask? Well, they're a cross between vehicles and infantry. I feel that they operate better at a squad level because since they are infantry and they occupy the same space as an infantry player, they move better with the squad. What's even more interesting about the LE class is that unlike vehicles, they can be implemented in infantry centric maps. This is because of their smaller size compared to vehicles, as well as the fact that unlike vehicles, they can be countered by any class. Also unlike vehicles, they can be killed instantly by using melee from behind, the bayonet or even a direct hit from the rocket gun. The only way to instant kill a vehicle is to equip the assault class, place two or three landmines near the tank and hopefully detonate them in time. And if I am to be honest, this is the reason why I get triggered when I see oh it's just a World War 1 version of Battlefront. The real reason I made this video is to identify the shortcomings of the LE class system and how to improve it. A number of Simtic and Reddit posters have already made interesting suggestions on how to improve the system. One user in particular goes by the name of Bleeding Uranium, sick name by the way. My suggestion revolves out of the idea that quite often players get frustrated, including myself, when they turn around the corner only to find an LE class in their faces. The problem with LE classes, unlike vehicles, is that they make no distinctive sound, with the notable exception of the Trench Raider who screams like freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger on steroids. My suggestion is rather simple, give us audio cues depending on the type of elite class. If there is a sentry with a Villar Perosa, give them a distinctive metallic clang when they move. It's even quite realistic since armor like that would definitely make some sound. For Flamer Guy, we can have a Darth Vader-esque World War 1 sounding mask, which would sound even more badass if you ask me. That leaves us with the Tank Hunter. Now the Tank Hunter is interesting as, generally speaking, they do not engage in close quarters. Even though they do have the sort of shotgun, generally they hang back, particularly on Sinai Desert, and shoot at infantry or tanks. Now in my opinion, Tank Hunters are not any much worse than their average sniper, since they both can one hit kill with the exception that snipers one hit kill at specific ranges, whereas tank hunters always one hit kill. Moreover, since they're quite far away, it's often the case that they are already spotted with their distinctive tank hunter icon above their heads. These sound cues would make it easy to identify the type of LE class, where they are at all times. Such a system would encourage proactive play and would certainly reduce the frustration level to players who actually pay attention to the soundscape. Now that's pretty much all I had to say about the system, it's fairly straightforward and, in my opinion, quite easy to implement. Dives are no strangers to detail in their sound design and this should not be much of a problem for them. There are plenty of other improvements that can be made to the LE classes, which is the reason why I mentioned earlier that I did include some of these links in the description. Damn, that's a long sentence. But the takeaway from this video should be, let's improve the ability to detect LE classes without actually them being in our faces first. One small thing I forgot to mention, perhaps they can also be shown on the minimap when they fire, much like tanks. It's debatable, since elite classes are nowhere near as powerful as vehicles. We have to remember, vehicles are far, far more armored, they can only be taken out by two classes essentially, or a lucky light anti-tank grenade at that, and they have a tendency to one hit kill even at distances of 100 meters or so. Elite classes are nowhere near as powerful as that, but they are more effective in infantry centric modes. Not to mention that since they tend to operate more at the squad level as I mentioned earlier, making them detectable would actually put the squad at a disadvantage, as one of their teammates, I mean squad mates, would basically be a shining light bulb next to them and that would not be a good idea, especially if you want to flank or play stealthily. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this interesting. Please look at the CTE Reddit for further discussion on this topic. My name's been Dan Binigan and you've been watching Mushroom Cloud Gaming.